Hi friends, this is Rajeshwar Rayapati and welcome to my channel Rayapati. Before going to today's topic, yeah, please do like, subscribe, share my channel Rayapati and also share among your friends who are working on Tableau and are looking for uh, job support. And also as uh, I'm posting certain uh, topics on SQL and Tableau, uh, like a SQL brainstorming session, Tableau tips. So you can follow me on LinkedIn to get the same updates. Also, if you have any doubt and you want to pose me, you can join this channel, Rai Party Tableau, which is a Telegram channel. There you can always post your scenarios. Okay, so coming to today's scenario, like in the last video, I've put like YTD and LTD calculations. Now, here I want to put one solution for all. Like if I select year here, it is giving uh, YTD. Now when I select quarter, right? Again, uh, the value is not changing because we are in the first quarter, right? So wow, both are same. But if you see here, it is having the quarter levels. And when I select month, now you see the value is changing. And when I go to the month level, you can see the data only for March that to till date. Let me drag sales also so that you get an idea. Okay, so March till date, last year's and current year till date. And when I select week, now let me select a uh, week number here. Now, in here, if you see. 2018, 2020. See, this is 12th week. Current in the current year, it is 12th week. The same way in the previous year, also it is showing you only 12th week. So, this is one point solution for all your YTD, QTD, MTD, and WTD. So, how do we achieve this? First, I have created a parameter. Okay, let me show this parameter. Now this parameter, okay, to edit parameter, yeah. So this is parameter which is contains nothing but these year, quarter, month, and week, right? So for current year, right? For current okay, any period in the current year. Before going that again, I have to show you this like order date. I have uh, we have only 2020 data till 2020 data. So I did some manipulation using data. Uh, I got 2020. If you want how I did this, watch my previous videos. Okay, now let this be here. Now, if right. We can use date diff to get that, right? You can use date diff to get the current year by current year YTD sales. So normally it will be like year, comma, order date current, comma, today is equal to zero. And order date current less than or equal to then sales. Now this is what we derived in the last uh, video. Now I want to automate this so that it will show for anything, for any period it will show current period details. If I select year it will show from the start of the year to current date. If I select month it will show from start of the month to current date. If I select week, it will say it will select it will show the data from start of that week to current. Now for that, what I'm doing is here I am here we have this period part, right? So this part I am replacing with period over period. Now when it is when I select year, here you will get date diff of year of order date current comma today. When I select quarter, it is quarter. Okay, now let me click on apply and okay. 
now let me drag my current period to text at the same time let me drag my sales also to the text now here okay let me select year first so i am having 85862 as my sales till this date right so if you want we can go further into this and then here you can see and let me select it now let me come down so i'm having only the today's 19th march so see i'm having only data till 19th march okay now uh, let me select uh, quarter doesn't change because we are in first quarter the values doesn't change they you will get till march march 19th only let me select month now when i selected month if you see i am not getting data for jan and feb i am only getting data for march and when i select week i am getting data only for this week which is 14 from 14th to 19 these these are this is the period that we are getting okay so now the next next task is getting the last year sales or last period sales now let me duplicate this curve period and let me edit this or before going that i need to create a calculation field which is val for period okay now here let me take a case statement case statement is for period over period now what is the case statement when year then one okay when quarter then four when month then 12. when week then 52 so this is the uh, 52 is uh, possible only with iso standard weeks because they only have standard 52 weeks okay and now this is my value for period but why did i take 1 4 12 and 52 now when i am going to current from current year if i am going to previous year i am uh, all the, the difference of between is only one year so that is why i am taking one but when I am going from current quarter to last year same quarter, I have to cross four quarters. And from current month to last year same month, it is 12 months. And current week to last year same week, it is 52 weeks. Okay, so that, that, that is why I have taken this calculation. Okay, let me click on now let me try like uh, we duplicated right curve period copy yeah so i'm just getting this curve period copy i'm duplicating this because i want you to understand how did we get this now here the main point is here in the place of this zero i am replacing this with val for Again, order did current. Now here for today in the last video, if you see what we did, date add off. Okay. Again here, generally we took year there, so I am say taking here period over period the parameter, comma. Now, what uh, we should take the this today to that periods place like in the last video we took to the last year same day as we are talking about last year ytd but here we are talking about a lot like when it is year we are talking about last year ytd when yeah uh, when uh, uh, it is quarter we are talking about last quarter uh, Q, last quarter qtd 
so that is why in place of whatever we are taking the numeric where we took 1 or minus 1 now here i am taking val for p here okay now based on whatever you select based on that the uh, date is taken back now but here we we use we used minus 1 in the earlier like in the ytd and lytd previous video so i need my negative value here so that is why i'm using minus here okay so i need to put the places now my calculation is made now uh, you got this right let, let me write that lytd calculation then you will understand if date diff of year comma order date current comma today is equal to one and order date current less than or equal to date add of year comma minus one comma then sales so now when you compare these two now you will get the clarity in place of year what did i take period over period in, in place of one what did i take value for the period now when the in the place of again in the place of this uh, uh, minus one or in the place of this year i took again period over period and in the place of minus one i took minus of val for period okay i hope this gives you more clarity and now let me click on apply and this previous video click on apply now let me drag previous period in let me put sales in the last now let me select year now when i'm selecting year i want i'm interested in last year right last year see last year from jan you are having till march 19 and i select quarter there's no much change because we are the first quarter and this is the same there is no much change but when i select month now it is showing only for march and when i select week it is showing only from 14th like it is 15th here okay the week start date has changed so this is how you get one solution for all let it be white like uh, now i think it is easy for you right now you can do all the manipulation that you want you can if you want uh, your ytd you can get it you want your qtd you can get it mtd or WTD. right i hope this helps and uh, i and if you if you have any other see uh, scenario regarding these other than this you can always get back to me on the telegram ch that uh, telegram channel that i showed you can follow my tableau tips and uh, great SQL brainstorming brainstorming posts on LinkedIn. And also please do like, share, subscribe my channel, Rai Party. Okay. Thank you guys. Thanks a lot.